Hey, have you got some of that new Milwaukee packout stuff? This is the low profile packout and uh, figured out a way to make it more efficient with 3D printing. Let me show you what I've done. Stay tuned. So I started with out at Thingiverse. I found um, Benjamin Johnson had posted a uh, custom bin with a cross divider in it and uh, I thought hey this is this is great and Benjamin Johnson was also uh, generous enough to provide the Fusion 360 files I'm new to Fusion 360 and I'm pretty new to 3D printing as well so I'm, I'm very grateful to Benjamin Johnson for his work and I want to give full credit to him for getting this whole thing started it would have taken me a lot longer to get to this point without his efforts um so this is benjamin johnson's id on thingiverse this is my my youtube channel bzoig and also my id on thingiverse and i'm still working on uploading remixes because i've made several of them so i'm going to show the remixes that i've made I uploaded the this T divider. I just took one out. So it kind of goes in order. You start with this and then and then I had some longer items like this, so I took a divider out. And then I realized, okay, I have more of this than I have of this, so I moved the divider over. So I offset one of the dividers. And then I did a uh, centered T with one offset here. And then I did a double offset, move this divider over and this divider. So this is a double offset. And then I had a lot of, you know, you get a lot of this low quantity stuff you know you get these packages and you just want to use the l brackets and you don't really use the screws because they're kind of they're really soft and they're kind of junky but you feel bad throwing them away i don't know why so i made this to kind of throw start throwing you know these little real low quantity odds and ends items in that and then i made this for the for the longer items, more of those. And uh, I'm going to be working on also redoing this because I want to have a divider in here this way. One or two dividers in here going this way to put longer items in there. Obviously, it's a huge efficiency gain with the 3D printing. These, but the other advantage is, is that, you know, these these Milwaukee provided dividers, if you're in the habit of picking them up by the divider, they can pop out. They're not, you know, they're, they're not really clipped in there super securely. They can, you can grab that divider and it can pop out and then it gets mixed up. These, you can grab these and stack these all day long and no problem, you don't. You don't worry about the dividers coming out. Now, the other modification that I made to Benjamin Johnson's original files was I changed the height of the divider from the floor to the top, and then I changed this angle here so that it gets more of a perfect fit on the lid and it's really real and it's way but benjamin's original files were way better than the original milwaukee's they they've got a lot of slop on here even with the the divider in there and um so these 3d printed ones are much better and uh i'm also going to work on some center cups still not sure what i want to do with that but i want to really maximize the use of these because 
you know, this Milwaukee pack out stuff isn't cheap. It's not too bad, but it's not cheap. And, um, you know, they got, they got a good basic idea, but they really just don't provide enough divider options. I mean, they should at least make a, a cross one that fits in there, but they don't. And, you know, it, it creates a lot of skews and a lot of packaging issues. And I, I suppose I understand why they don't do it, but Maybe they will, but for now, 3D printing is the solution. So if you're looking for an excuse to go out and buy a 3D printer, here's, here's one more great excuse to do it.